In this tutorial, let's look at how to make an animated GIF from a movie. I'm going to use an MP4. So in my Photoshop file, I have the screen I'm going to use to mock this up. Now I need to import the video. I'm going to do File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. Select your MP4. And in this case, I'm going to trim it a little bit. And I'm going to limit to every four frames. And make sure Make Frame Animation is checked. Okay, so it automatically opened up a new file for me with all the frames. I'm going to need to resize this. And I'm going to have to move my screen or computer that I want to use to frame it. Let's take a preview. Make sure your window and timeline are checked so you can see this animation. And I'm probably going to want to trim out some of the frames, like on the load time. Because the idea here is to get as many of the frames removed um, so we can cut down the file size of the final GIF file. So I'm going to grab my frame here. Move it to this file. Now I'm going to select all frames of the video and Command T to transform all of them at the same time. I'm going to modify this a little bit just because I don't want to stretch my video any further. I did that kind of fast. I went to image, trim, to trim away the transparent space. Okay, let's do another preview. Okay, on my final frame, I want that to pause so it doesn't transition right to the beginning again. Let's do two seconds on the last frame. And this is looping forever. You can choose how many times the video loops. I'm going to go ahead and save my progress.
And now we're going to do file, and we want save for web, which is under export, file, export, save for web. And we're going to choose, before we choose a GIF, let's bring down the quality and our size. just might save you from locking up your computer trying to load such a high-res file. So right now our GIF is at over six megabytes so it's gonna take a while to load. We're gonna want to trim that down. I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to take out transparency. Oh, and that actually made it larger. Okay, let's go ahead and do a save. And we can start removing some of the frames to cut down the file size. And you can go through these one by one and see which ones you might want to chop out. So that could technically go faster, so I'm going to control select every so many of these and hit the trash can to delete the frames. So if they look about the same, you can usually delete at least one of them. Because it's going to be going so fast that you won't notice. So this is where it's loading, we don't really want that to show. My mouse movement doesn't need to show either. So like on this part, if I were to delete out the frames, then those petals are going to fall a lot faster, which I don't want to happen.
this was over 140 probably frames and now we've got it down to 100 so let's do a preview again from the beginning I could make that the last frame last a little longer too. I'm just going to look through this one more time. There's kind of a glitch there. Okay, let's try saving this out. You can do Command Option Shift S, which is the same as Safer Web. I had it at 800 pixels wide before, so we've dropped it down almost a couple megabytes. You can try working on the colors and seeing if it still looks okay with less colors, and you can preview here the whole animation. So we've got it down to 4 megabytes with 128 colors now. And you can play around with the color grouping and see if that helps on the file size. And now we can preview this in a browser 